another exciting episode on showbiz trends on ghana web tv trust us to bring you closer to your favorite ghanaian celebrity today on our show we have a very multi-skilled and multi-talented woman she's a ghanaian living the, in the uk her performance is seen all over the world she's a mother a nurse and a musician, Mrs. Dinah Hamilton. <laughs> Welcome, Mrs. Thank you. Thank you so How much. How was the flight back to Ghana? It was good. It was good. Uh, actually, I lied. Um, <laughs> it must be good because I got here, but um, I slept half of the way, so I didn't see all of it. But oh. yeah, it's okay. Have you enjoyed any fufu yet? Um, no. No, I haven't. I'm, I'm, I'm an Ashanti, but I'm not a fufu. Mm. fun too much oh really yeah because when i was little when i'm eating for i like a lot of meat on it and when i was little i didn't have the luxury of a lot of meat <laughs> 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 so i think i i didn't grow like in it uh, i see <laughs> okay so who is Dinah hamilton you said it in your introduction yeah. um, <laughs> i am a, a christian mm -hmm. i am a, a mother I am a wife. I am the third of eight, well, nine children. Mm. I am um, a nurse, mm. and I am a minister of the gospel through music. Mm. So yeah, long and short, everything put together. <laughs> that's 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 great. You've been married for over ten years. Oh yeah, way more than that. Thirteen. Oh, Thirteen. <laughs> wow. Congratulations. Thank you. So, how do you juggle between being a mother, a wife, and then a musician as well? Uh, how do I do that? Sometimes I wish I had thirty-five hours in a day, or maybe fifty hours in a day. But um, this is what I say all the time: grace. The grace of God is sufficient. Mm -hmm. um, I'm able to do all that. I think there's one prayer I pray every day, and that is. For God to give me help, um, bring me help, because um, I can't do it all by myself. Mm -hmm. And so far, God has been good. I always get help, and um, from family, from my husband, my children, and then the team. Mm -hmm. You know, the Diana Hamilton Ministries team. They're good. So it, it's it's good. It's not bad. It's not. It doesn't feel as bad as it looks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the journey of marriage, you, you just said you've been married for 13 years. How challenging has it been? God is good. Mm -hmm. Marriage is not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one of the advice I give to people. Mm -hmm. You know, in the, in the society we find ourselves, um, people will always say, I'm already 18, mm -hmm. you know, it's difficult. It's di and I say to young couples, don't enter into marriage with that mentality. It's difficult because mm -hmm. when you see it's difficult, you give up before you even start. Mm -hmm. um, but I think my constant prayer is that God should be the foundation on which my marriage is built. Mm -hmm. That was, that was, mm -hmm. that is, that still continues to be my prayer. Mm -hmm. And God has been good. It, it, um, I'm not always around my husband, so mm -hmm. that might be the challenging part. Mm -hmm. um, but I think God knew that, and this is. God's work yeah. and so he's giving me a husband who understands who understands yeah we thank Mr. Hamilton wherever yes. he is <laughs> how do you yeah. get the lyrics of your songs um God gives me the lyrics mm -hmm. um through through the bible um through life mm -hmm. um and I think with with me my songs have always been around a story surrounding me you know something I've been through something I've experienced mm -hmm. something I've seen someone experience just life basically and then but everything has to be based on the Word of God mm -hmm. and so it's whatever I've gone through there's a scripture in the Bible that mm -hmm. works well mm -hmm. for me that handles there's nothing under the Sun that God doesn't know about mm -hmm. and so his word covers it mm -hmm. and so that's 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 what helps with my lyrics it takes me a long time to write, but I, I get it done. How long does it take you to write? Um, years. Wow. Yeah, years. Um, I've just released um, Monio, Mon mm -hmm. and my last album was in 2015. Mm -hmm. And just when I released the last album, I started working on this new album. Mm -hmm. And so three years is when I've been able to come out with 
No wonder your songs are always called. Yeah, and I, a song, this, this new album is called I Believe. Mm -hmm. Now, the I Believe song itself, that track is over seven years old, if not more. If I can go back in my phone and see, it, it'll be over, over seven years wow. old. It should have been on the Yehovah album. Mm -hmm. What was the motivation behind NCWE? I call that um, a prophetic song, oh, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, mm. um, MC with you. Wow. So after I released Ostrobekasa, I released Ostro. Well, I started working Ostro on Ostrobekasa when I first got married. This was in 2006, and um, I didn't release the song till 2007. Okay. Um, and so I had just freshly gotten married. Um, and so when I was reading Ostrobekasa. It wasn't like I needed anything from God at that yeah. time. Life was good. I was freshly married. I wasn't worried about having a child or not. I thought <laughs> oh, it was going to happen. Yeah. And so Shubekasa, for instance, was done um, for a sister of mine who was going through so many things. And so when I, I, I didn't write Shubekasa myself, like on my own. I co-wrote it with one guy called, uh, oh, I can't believe I've forgotten his name already. Anabwati. Okay. Oh, Diana, this is bad. <laughs> But yeah, I co-wrote the song with Anabwati. He mm -hmm. first wrote it, mm -hmm. and then I added my own twist to mm -hmm. it. But when he brought it, I could just identify with the song because of what my sister was going mm -hmm. through. And then, but years down the line, I started needing a show to cast for me. You get what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and so, because um, I wasn't having children, I was struggling. How it wasn't long happening. did it take? Oh, it took me almost six years before I had my first. Wow. My, I had my twins. Um, yeah. How did you take the pressure during that six year period? I'll be lying to you if I said it wasn't a difficult time. Mm -hmm. Thanks to press. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to press and all everyone else but my family, uh, my family, my friends went to pressure. But sometimes you got some when I say thanks, they weren't putting pressure on me to mm -hmm. say have a child. But then it became difficult when say you're having an interview and they go like, Oh, have you got children? Yeah. You know, it are you married? Hits you. Yeah, and they don't mean to hurt you, but it's just a question they need to ask. So then it hits you, and then sometimes you get the old person who, uh, who just asks that question: When are you having a child? As though it depends on you. Anyway, so those were the times that were the difficult times. Mm -hmm. So when I was about to release the next album, which was in mm -hmm. um I didn't know whether to go back and say "Erade" or "Mobo" kind of songs. Mm -hmm. Then. I remembered my mum saying that whatever you say to someone, you get, God knows, a multiple portion coming to you. Because yeah. for instance, if I say, Bernice, you're a beautiful girl. Yeah. It's just using one finger to point at you to say a beautiful girl, but I put like three fingers pointing, pointing towards to me. You. And so it meant that whatever I said to you, I got triple of it. So if I blessed you, I got mm. triple. If I cursed yeah. you, I got triple. Yeah. And so I thought, oh, okay. So then I'm gonna bless people and whatever I say to them, I will be blessed a triple times. Yeah. And so hence NCWE and not NCWE. Mm -hmm. I decided not to be selfish on that, even though I still didn't have the fruit of the womb. I thought I serve a God who is faithful. Mm -hmm. And so if I, if I proclaim blessings on other people and I got portions, then the Lord will hear my prayer. Have you um, heard all anybody testimonies from that? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot, a lot of testimonies coming out as a result of experience, mm -hmm. as a result of my videos, as mm -hmm. a result of my songs out there. Um, f funny enough, when I released Monio, I sent, when I was about to release Monio, I did a flyer, like a teaser, yeah. um, with the picture on it and the title. And so, uh, rewind, uh, exactly a year, or a little bit under, over a year ago, I went to um, Columbus, Ohio in America okay. and uh, I met this wonderful lady who came to me and said she's been struggling for the fruit of the womb, we've been married for five years and so I just encouraged her but when I came home I kept praying, I kept praying for her like I do for anybody that approaches me for the fruit of the womb and so along the line she tried calling me actually you know, I sent her a message because I was praying and mm -hmm. I was like I haven't touched base with you for a while mm -hmm. um, let me know what's going on and she was like oh, I'm gonna call you so she called but I think I was busy I couldn't pick up the call and then we missed the chance to talk then I released the flyer yeah. for Monio 
just when I released it, she sent me a message. She was like, this song you're about to release is it's my song, song because dot, 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 dot. <laughs> then she sent me a picture of a beautiful baby girl. Wow. She, I sent the picture on a, I sent the flyer on a Saturday. She said I had the child on Monday, which wow. was the Monday before that Saturday. I said, why did you not tell me? I was like, <laughs> and she was like, well, I tried calling you. <laughs> I tried calling mm. you. But yeah, that's what God is able to do. Mm. You know, when I release, when I think I, sh I, I did a very, unprofessional video for um, Yehoah Beshe. I, I performed in um, in a church um, in um, Trinity Baptist in the UK okay. and somebody used their phone to video it. So this the person sent it to me and my manager is very particular about what I put out. Um. So whenever I'm about to put something out, I sent to him to see if it's a good video. Should I put it out? Mm -hmm. Sometimes he goes, no, it's not good. Don't mm -hmm. put it out. So I was waiting for the response, but then I sent it to like five people on my contact list in WhatsApp. And then one of them just posted it. When I went to check the person's status, she had about 35,000 views already. I was like, I, I'm, not, I'm not giving that just that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, didn't, I didn't even wait to speak uh, to my manager. I just went then, ahead and posted it. Anyway, the views on that, and this was done with somebody's phone. Mm -hmm. But then the amazing part is, somebody left me a message i need to speak with you i need to speak with you i was like go ahead you know this is facebook go mm. ahead and then she was like i had just bought poison to drink mm. and kill myself because she's in egypt um somebody took her there you know how there's a lot of yeah. people running to these countries lately and somebody took her there they've taken her passport at that time that's when egypt was collapsing mm. you know and so there was no job her children were here and she felt like giving up but when mm -hmm. she saw Yahuwah Beshe the video um, she threw and flushed the poison mm -hmm. down the loo and so these things are my rewards I feel that this is when God lets me see that whatever we're doing he's actually picking it up and working on it our prayers are being answered mm -hmm. you know why, why was your father against you not going um, into music full-time where did you hear that from I think I read that. <laughs> <laughs> so my father was a minister of the gospel. He yeah. was a pastor of the Church of Pentecost. And I remember when I was in Morningstar, mm -hmm. when we were choosing schools and mm -hmm. courses to do, my headmaster then, bless his soul, um, said to my dad, let your daughter go and do music. Mm -hmm. He was like, no, mm -hmm. my daughter's not doing music. My daughter's <laughs> not doing music in school. He loved to see me sing. But this was his point. I don't want you to do music as a profession mm -hmm. because and that's why I find it hard to say music is my profession I would always say I'm a minister of the gospel through music but I'm a nurse by profession mm -hmm. nurse is what I do as a job but music comes to me naturally this was my father's point I don't want you to be in a position where if you don't sing you will not eat yeah. and that's why he didn't want it because I wasn't gonna do anything but gospel music and so if I'm doing gospel music, then if God has to take care of me, he has to take care of me on his own terms. But it shouldn't be that I have to go and sing before I got paid, before I make myself and my family eight. That was his only reason. Mm -hmm. So he was like, get a job, do your job, and then do ministry. And if ministry begins to feed you, and you think you can't do nursing, mm -hmm. then maybe you can quit. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite there yet. Yeah. So I'm still like... <laughs> I was about to ask that though. <laughs> I thought I answered that before you asked. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm still practicing nursing. Okay. Yeah. The government, um, with support from the Christian Council, they want to construct a very huge national cathedral which will be purposed solely for religious activities or functions. Okay. But the debate is whether it is a um, necessity. Yeah. Okay. For the country at the moment. Okay. And then some, I, th I don't know if you've heard of Prophet Eagle. Eagle Prophet? Yeah, Eagle Prophet. Okay. What's, yeah. What He's he saying said? that um, all those who are fighting against that, the construction of the National Cathedral will face curses from God because that has been written in the Bible that a time will come, such thing will be done. Others to feel the money which will be put into the construction of the national cathedral can be channeled into you know our health facility or education okay. what do you think about it 
Um, I think priorities are important, and so I, I'm, I'm, I'm not in government, and mm -hmm. as, as, of, as of now, you're even telling me about yeah. it. So I think I, I need more time to actually assess what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, one thing we struggle for as Christians and as event organizers is location. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a need. Now, I am not into, I'm not a politician. Yeah. And so I don't know the financial status of the nation. Can we afford it? Mm -hmm. If we can afford it, why not? If we cannot afford it, can the Christian Council afford it? Because it's something we need. Mm. I always say, cut your coat according to your size. Not even, no, I say it this way. Cut your coat according to your fabric. Mm. Not according to your size. Yeah. Because you can be big and want a gown, but your fabric is two so, yards. Yeah. But you can actually do a little skirt suit with that fabric. Yeah. So you cut your coat well, according to your, your size. And your fabric and so if we can afford it great this is this is my stand on it mm. it's something we need because sometimes you just need a huge place to organize an indoor event mm -hmm. we can't always do something um, outdoor yeah. so we need something for an indoor mm -hmm. event so if we can afford it if the Christian Council can do it if the government can do it by all means love that and then the future of Ghana's music industry is good mm -hmm. it's bright um, I've been around for a while I'm not that old but I started <laughs> very early <laughs> I started very early I, I came into um, the Ghana music industry when I was about 14 years yeah. and so I've seen it grow mm -hmm. and trust me it's way better than it was yeah. and so we're still a work in progress and we definitely will get there, but it's good. Going through most of your videos on YouTube, I think I might be wrong, but I realize that most of your songs are done by you. I haven't seen you featuring other okay. musicians. Okay. Uh, should we expect any f future collaboration between oh, I've, I've done I've done collaborations in the past. Um, my yeah, um, Blessings album, which had um, a Yawa on it. Mm. I had a song called um, Everything. Mm. My, I, oh, gee. No, Diana Hamilton has lost it. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> Fashion and Christianity. Okay. I, I think I saw a report somewhere last year um, written by one of our um, online portals. They group, they categorized, I think almost five of you, you, Sissy Chum, Obapa Christi as okay. the most fashionable. Oh, really? Um, gospel I need to see that. Yeah, I think I'll send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gospel musicians. Um, at what point, you know, as, as a Christian, you mentioned your father is um, an apostle of yeah, the church. Pentecost. You know how Pentecost is. Mm -hmm. You know, they would want you to dress in a certain way. Even okay. when it comes to the makeup, they would want you, actually even want you to okay. stuff your hair. And then here, we are applying makeup. At what point in time do you think, as a Christian and, you know, a minister of the gospel, maybe you are backsliding due to fashion? <laughs> Um, backsliding is a huge, mm. huge word that yeah. um, shouldn't even come in the conversation mm. at the moment um, because I think when you're doing anything you need to ask yourself yeah. is God pleased with me yeah. and if God is pleased with you that is the most important thing yeah. because as Christians our goal is heaven and if you think you're on the right path with God you're fine. I believe modesty mm -hmm. is very important, but there's a difference between being modest and extravagance. Okay. And also, um, God looks at the heart, but then human beings look on the outward appearance. Now, the moment my outward appearance becomes a hindrance to someone, then that is where the problem is. Mm -hmm. But if sitting right here with you, if you think we can have this conversation, Without being hindered, yeah. and I think I'm good. Okay. Does that does that work? Yeah. Yeah. Because if it, it it's a problem when I come in wearing a pair of hot pants <laughs> and 
you know, in my bikinis because it's a pool side. Yeah. And, and, and somebody walks and thinks, oh, is that an hunter? <laughs> but I think I'm covered enough. Uh. <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm covered enough, and I think it, it pleases God, which is the most important thing. It, it has to come with, um, with uh, maybe where we find ourselves. You know, in Ghana, mm -hmm. for instance, let me compare Ghana and outside. Okay. Watching um, is it um, Tasha Cobbs or, okay. or those people perform? Some of them can be in boots, trousers, okay. huge yeah. earrings. Yeah. You know, in Ghana, for a musician to go on stage dressed that way, you know, that tag. Okay, so let me let me ref let me let me rephrase that. If the rephrase is the word, mm -hmm. everybody has their style. Yeah, I remember when I was coming down for Adun praise, my sister was like, "What are you going to wear?" Mm -hmm. I said, "I haven't thought about it, but I'm thinking of this dress." And she was like, "No, I think you should go casual. Mm -hmm. I think she's just going a pair of jeans and a t-shirt mm -hmm. and trainers." I said, "That is not me. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their style." Yeah. You know what? What do you wear? What are you known for? Mm -hmm. Last year, when I was researching about you, I, when you type Diana Hamilton on Facebook, you see that last year when the nominations came, people were actually vouching for. People were like, Diana Hamilton needed to be nominated. Why? What happened? She's very good. She's very good. She's putting Ghana on the map in the diaspora. How did okay. you feel? Oh, I was cool with it. Um, and I'll tell you this. I actually got a call from Ghana, the organizers, Charter okay. House, to actually say that I didn't fall within the year in review and that I had gone out. I thought that was respectful enough. Okay. And so I think after the whole hula balloo on, mm. on Facebook, I got a call. I got a call from this guy. Was it George Quay? George Quay. Yes. George called me. Okay. I met Diana Hobson, who also spoke to me and said, you know, it's unfortunate. You, you fell out of the, 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 the bracket mm. because it was out of um, how they ever say it. But yeah, I, I, don't, I, I would never sit somewhere and say I've been treated unfairly mm. or I thought I was within the bracket, but it, it, apparently when I released it, because I launched, it's a long story. But I think they were very courteous to have called mm -hmm. me to tell me that I wasn't within the bracket. Okay. Money Yo is doing very great on YouTube. Okay. Mm -hmm. By grace of God. Yeah, I think it's re it was released about three weeks ago. Yes, just about three weeks ago. And you are clocking over seven hundred K views. I was I was uh, I think well, close, to, yeah, close to seven hundred K views. So. Close I to think so. Seven hundred K yeah. views. How is the feeling like? You know, great. The reception. It's amazing. Um it's I've never experienced that. Yeah. Uh, we've had views, but at such a pace, mm -hmm. it's amazing, and we give glory to God um, for that. Uh, well, one of the, this is one of the songs that when it was about to release, I was like, God, I hope they receive it. Mm -hmm. You know, I hope they accept it. I hope it becomes a blessing to mm -hmm. to people, and that's what God is doing now. So it's amazing. Just about three weeks, and mm -hmm. I've actually watched it grow that quick. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And I've seen short, short videos of people. Oh yeah. So there was a money or challenge. Okay. There, it still is the money or challenge. I think, I think I'm gonna end it very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? The camera man is saying, "Have you done yours?" <laughs> Because um, uh, there's going to be experience and the people are going to get free tickets. Those that win are going to get free tickets to experience. Okay. And then they're also going to get a new album mm -hmm. signed. And so before I release, the, before the, the launch, I need to end the Money mm. Your Challenge. But the Money Your Challenge has been, I didn't know it was the reception was going to be that great. Mm -hmm. I just did a show video. I was like, you know, sing along with it. Mm -hmm. And within 24 hours of release of the song, People were singing along to it and videoing themselves and bring the number of people who meet me and go like, I've done it but I'm shy, I can't bring <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing, yeah, it's good. A lot of people have sung along to it, it's growing, it's been received mm -hmm. and we give glory to God. Mm -hmm.